What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the everyone is here me. And there you go, that's how you do it. It's really simple, you can literally make it out of anything. And of course, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in Vegas Pro 16. So there's a couple of things you'll need. Number one, you'll need a pastel background, which you can of course find on Google. You'll need a paint splatter. Again, you can find that on Google. You need the Super Smash Bros theme song, again, link in the description. And then you'll need a cinematic hit sound effect, which again, I will be providing in the description. But that's enough of me talking, let's just simply... Let's get right into the... So here we are in Vegas Pro 16, and this is the clip you saw right at the start. I'm literally about to make it now, and also show you how to create the same effect. Now, like I mentioned, you'll need a pastel background, Super Smash Bros theme song, a cinematic hit and of course a paint splatter which I'll be providing in the description. Of course the first thing you need to do is find out where you want the effect to take place. Now of course mine is going to be right at the end so I do that pose on purpose and you can see I'm going to click to the end and then I'm going to go back one keyframe by pressing this button. If you don't see the button then press more buttons, select edit, edit visible button set and then make sure next and previous frame are checked. Select ok, make sure this is at the best and full then you want to select save snapshot to file. Now save this in a folder you'll remember and then it's going to appear in your project media. Drag and drop this on and now you want to head over to the event pan and crop. This is where we'll now be doing some masking and it's really simple and I'll show you how to do that. So first of all come to the bottom left and enable the masking. Make sure you're on the very first keyframe here and zoom in using the mouse wheel. Now what I find best is actually starting from a corner, so I'm going to be starting from here. Make sure you have selected the anchor creation tool, and then all you're going to do is left click, one dot will appear, and then just simply left click around each time um, the direction changes. If you make a mistake like I've just done here, just press Control Z, and you can see you can continue moving on. Now to keep moving up here, hold Control and drag it up. Then what you need to do is press Ctrl Z, so then the point comes back, and then just continue along like this. Now of course you do want to be accurate, you don't want to make this look horrible, so do take your time when doing this, and I'll be back to you once I've finished all of this. Very quickly, I didn't mention how to do curves, all you do is left click and drag, and then you can see you can curve it up. That's all you have to do. Okay, so you can see I have now gone around all of the body. Now this is the most important part. After you finish doing all the masking, you want to link back up to where you first started. So you can see this is the very first keyframe we created. All you need to do is highlight over it. Everything should highlight in yellow, then just left click. Now everything we've just masked is now selected. And that's exactly what you want to. So that's all the masking completed. What you can do if your masking is completely <laughs> Then all you need to do is right click, select, select all, come to where it says path, and then where it says feather type, you can select both, and you can just bring up the feather just a little bit. You don't need to bring it up too much because it is a very strong effect. Now to be honest, I don't need a feather, so I'm just going to leave it as normal. And now we're one step closer. What you want to do is right click and insert a video track, and then this image right here you're going to drag up onto a separate track, and the background image you're going to drag and drop this onto the track below. Now, if, you're, if you have black bars, what you want to do is right click, select properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and select OK. You can see the background now fits for the entire screen. So before we get into adding the splatter and the text, I'm going to do some animating to myself. So first of all, I want myself to slam onto the screen. So I'm going to just size this down. Make sure you have a sync cursor checked so it's in blue. Click the start of your clip here and then lay down a keyframe. Now I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger and I'm doing this on purpose so I slam down. Then I'm going to come across maybe five keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five. And all I'm going to do is then size myself a little bit down and drag myself to the left like this. And then of course it's pretty obvious where I'm going to put the text. So I can now X out of this. The next thing I'm going to be adding is the paint splatter. So all we're going to do, drag and drop this above. And again, I'm going to trim this so it matches the video length. Then using the motion tracking, I'm then going to reposition it. 
If you don't see motion tracking, then you want to head over to more, edit visible button set, and you can see track motion, just make sure that is ticked, and then you'll see it right here. So make sure you're at the very start of this um, splatter, and simply size it down to how you want it. So I'm going to pop mine right here. And then of course the next visual thing we need to do is add some text. So we're going to right click, insert another video track, head over to media generators, and from here I always recommend you use legacy text. Now all I'm going to be doing is adding on the default text. So I'm drag it and drop it on. And of course this part is going to be the name. To size it down, press Ctrl A, and of course just change the size from here. Change the font, you can change it from here. Of course you can be funky, you can be whatever you want to. I'm going to stay with 35, maybe 45, okay maybe 55, that's better. Then if you want to change your colour, head over to properties, you can see you can pick any colour you want from here. I'll stay with a blue for this. Then you can head over to effects, you want to add an outline, you want to add a shadow. To be honest I only recommend a shadow because that makes it look a lot better. Then X out of it, now we need to position it. Again, I'm going to use the motion tracking. Feel free to use pan and crop if you want to. And I'm going to position this right here. So I'm going to X after that. Again, I'm going to trim the text down so it matches up with what we have. Now the final thing, we need to add some text underneath. So I'm going to right click, insert video track, default again. And at this part, I'm just going to put everyone is here. Again, control A, I'll put this about size 35. Again, I'm going to choose the exact same font, which is Beber's New Bold. This time I'm going to keep the text white, but I will be adding a drop shadow. Then, again, I'm going to reposition this, except it's going to be underneath casual savage text. There we go, so that's how that looks. I can X out of it, and here's currently what we have. Of course, no sound effects have been added. This is what we have. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Everyone Is Here meme. As you can see, that's what we have. So it can be made a lot smoother. Number one, I pause too long. So right here, meme. I can cut this off so it jumps straight into it. Here, meme. So you can see that's better. Now, of course, adding on the sound effects. So, of course, I've got everything in my projects media. First, we have the cinematic boom. So this is the hit when I actually get into position. So it's like. Beam like that. Then we add, of course, the sound itself. So this is the part I need to use right here. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard, delete the uh, first part, and this will make more sense. I'm then going to line this up to where it starts, right here. I'm then going to drag back to the intro. I can add a nice fade to this. We'll add a um, slow fade, so then we can still hear me talk. And now, this is it completed. So I'll play this through for you. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Everyone Is Here meme. So of course, that's what you can do. Now that's the very simple way. Now let's add some more movement. And what I mean by that, let's move where I'm standing, or yeah, where I'm standing. So I'm going to move myself to the right side. Again, uh, motion tracking. What I'm going to do is zoom in, and you can see we're currently at 6 seconds. I'm going to go across to 7 seconds, I'm then going to lay down a keyframe, and then I'm going to move across to 8 seconds, and I'll move myself across to here. Now what this will do, so immediately I'll come smashing into the left, then 1 second I will stay on the left side, then a second goes by and I'll move across to the right side. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to do the complete same thing with the text, so we're just going to swap sides. Again, we're going to start with the paint splatter, come to track motion. I'm going to come to the first keyframe where we um, set up the image, and I'm going to select create keyframe. I'm then going to come to the next keyframe. You can see I'm now swapped, so then I'll swap this up here, and that's that part done. Then come to the text, exact same thing. We're going to select this keyframe here, we're going to create keyframe, we're going to select the next keyframe, then we can drag it across. And then of course we have the final piece of text which says everyone is here. Motion tracking, again select the keyframe, create keyframe, select the next keyframe, and drag this across. So now, this is it completed, so I'll play it through for you. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the everyone is here. Oh, yeah. So 
So you can see just like that, super, super simple, really quick to make. And of course, once you get your head around it, it's really simple to do. One suggestion I would like to make if you are experienced with Photoshop or if you have Photoshop, when you do the screenshot and you need to mask out, I highly recommend you do all the masking in Photoshop simply because it's a lot easier to be a lot more accurate. You can use the eraser tool to get rid of any little uh, rigid bumps and with uh, Vegas you have to do complete masking. However you can see, you can do it completely in Vegas but Photoshop is what I do recommend.